guys, it's Sam and today I want to talk about something that we don't really talk about that much in the book world, but I've recently realized that it's probably one of my least enjoyable things, and that is three star reads. So recently I was reading Lost Stars by Claudia Gray. I have a review coming up for this on Monday, so I'll talk more about it then. And I was really struggling with it. I wasn't sure what was going on. I just didn't have any motivation to pick it up. There wasn't anything particularly bad about it, but it wasn't super enjoyable either. And there was nothing really motivating me to keep going. It wasn't a bad book. It's a Star Wars book. I love Star Wars. It was in the Star Wars world. It's all of that fun stuff, all that fun world building. I think Claudia Gray is a good author. There was nothing particularly problematic about it. It was just meh. Mediocre. And after about two weeks of reading this on and off, again, barely reading it at all, I finally posted a tweet on Twitter and was like, what is it about mediocre reads? This is worse than reading a horrible book because for myself, at least when I'm reading a book that I'm hating, I'm hate reading that. I'm motivated to read it because I just want to get it done because I hate it so much and I just want to rant about it. This book isn't particularly bad. It's just nothing. It's forgettable. It's just, it's just out there. It's just, it's just okay. And I feel like that's the worst reading experience. Like, it's just, it's just there. It just exists. My three star reads and like 2.5, because usually if something's so mediocre, I usually will say it's a 2.5 star read because there's not, there's enough good and bad. And it's just kind of there in the middle hanging out. So I feel like the 2.5 star reads are the worst because I don't hate it enough to be motivated enough to keep reading and read it quickly and tear it apart, but I don't love it enough that it's enjoyable. Thankfully, these just 2.5 three-star reads don't happen that often. Yes, I have plenty of three-star reads, but typically speaking, a bulk will either be kind of almost bad, two stars through most of it, and then we'll do something at the end to bump it up to three, or a book will be going pretty well, be like four stars, and then something will happen at the end that kind of bumps it down for me. Or it's like really good world building, but it has kind of crappy characters or something. Like there's things that are, will even itself out to a three star among the three categories that I review, which are world building, characters, and plot. But with this book, everything was just meh. And like I said, those don't happen very often, but when they do, those are the books that are most likely to put me in a reading slump. Books that I hate reading aren't books that are going to put me in a reading slump because I just want to get the bad taste out of my mouth and be done with it and then read something else really great. This has the potential to put me in a reading slump because it's just like, man, maybe I don't even care about reading anymore, you know? It makes me doubt myself as a reader because it's like, I guess I just really don't care about reading. There's nothing, there's nothing bad about this. There's nothing, it's not bad. It's just meh. And yeah, mediocrity at that level is just not a fun time. And somebody actually commented on that thread on Twitter and said that if the book is that just mediocre for them, they usually will lower the star rating, which I might start doing. But still, it's just like, it's not, it's not bad. It's just boring. And I guess you could take stars off for boring. I've done that before. Typically, I don't take stars off for necessarily boring, just like when it's, when it's bad. I, th this doesn't happen very often. It leaves me with a, a, a conundrum. And people are really confused because on Goodreads, I finally, after like three weeks of reading it, I was like, I'm finally free and I rated it two stars because ultimately the world is still pretty good. I'm gonna talk about my reviews. I'm not gonna go into it. But it's not, it's not horrible. People are like, oh, you hated it and you still gave it two stars. And I, I didn't hate it. That's the problem. If I hated it, you'd hear about it. But I don't even really have anything that much to say about it. I'm doing my review now before I forget about it completely because that's probably going to happen fairly shortly. You ask me about it this time next year, or even this time in three months, I'm going to be like, I don't really remember much about it besides knowing it was mediocre. And those mediocre reads are the ones that are absolutely forgettable and I won't remember reading and yeah. Like, as much as I hated The Bronze Horseman, I remember every moment of that. I remember every moment because I can't DNF things. People were like, why don't you just DNF it? I don't DNF books really because I've talked about it before, I'll link the video up above, but I don't really DNF because I review books and I want to review it in its entirety and say like these are the reasons why I don't like something. So I suffered through that and I suffered kind of through this, but it wasn't even suffering. It was just floating in like a gray nebulous world of just not wanting to read. So I got a lot of Final Fantasy XV played. That's, that's why I started playing. But it was just like, 
for a Star Wars book, I should be having a much better time. So comment down below and let me know how you deal with these mediocre reads. Do you feel the same way as me that these like kind of 2.5, 3 star reads are just like kind of the worst? Because you don't really want to keep reading them. Just kind of, they're just kind of there. They just kind of exist and, and things have to, you know, ratings of books have to exist on kind of like a spectrum and you're gonna have those three star reads, but when they're solidly three stars the whole time, not very motivating. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!